Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope everyone's doing well out there. So I'm working on Wally in a Box's Kramer over here, making a little bit of a mess. So I ended up uh, having to sand the headstock down, take the clear off, getting rid of the logo. Now there was a couple of bad scratches on this headstock. One of them was being right over here someplace, and then there's one right there, if you can kind of see it. And uh, that one is, uh, it, it's pretty deep. I mean, I can kind of grab it with my fingernail, or at least I was able to. It's still there, uh, did not sand out. So what I'm gonna end up doing is, I'm gonna end up respraying this top black, I'm gonna have to now, and kind of flood it in this area a little bit where it's gonna fill in that little scratch not that much of a big deal but in doing so the logo is gone i did find out something about this and i wish i taped it or recorded it while i was doing it um there was two logos on this uh i don't know if they screwed up or what now i did do some research on the serial number and found out that this is not an american uh not an American Kramer, all right, and still haven't really found out exactly what it is as far as the year and shit goes from the serial number. It's kind of a weird serial number. What is it? An SD? Um, let's take a look at it. Serial number on this thing is an SD forty five ninety, and uh, yeah, it's kind of a. Weird serial number. I try looking it up. Can't find too much information. All I know is from the first two uh, letters that this is not an American-made uh, Kramer. But here's the kicker. You all seen the top logo that was on here. It just said Kramer on there. And it had the uh, trademark on there. The bottom logo that was underneath the top one was a Kramer and it said American next to it. That would have made this an American Kramer, right? At least that's what I found on the internet. So what they ended up doing is, I don't know if they made a mistake or what, but they resprayed it black over the uh, original logo that was on here and then put a new logo on top of that and then ended up putting a uh, clear coat over it. So that was quite interesting. And like I said, I wish I recorded it when I found this. Because I'm going through the clear coat and kind of hitting that, uh, started hitting the logo a little bit because I couldn't get rid of the one scratch. And as you know, the logo was kind of wearing off and stuff, it was, the scratch was going away. But as the logo went, well, I was through to clear. So now I'm going through a black finish, which turned everything, you know, black over here. So yeah, stuff is like almost like an ink. And as I'm going through that black, there's another logo underneath it. And I'm like, holy shit. But I still wasn't able to get out some of the other nicks and scratches that were in this headstock to level it out. In fact, I still have a couple of spots here that are shiny by the tuners that, uh, yeah, I got to fix those. But uh, pretty interesting. I don't know if this thing has a story behind it or if it was a screw up or what. Uh, it does look like a plywood body. I did, it did check that out. I could see that in the neck, neck pocket. Um, added a piece right here to kind of fix that. It's not very pretty, but a patch never is really pretty. And I kind of put some pressure after I cut this, I was putting pressure on this thing to see if this crack here would do anything. And it really didn't. Um, but I did hit it with CA glue and uh, kind of put some pressure. I clamped the neck down, put pressure on the headstock. So the neck was clamped to the counter. And as I'm pushing on the headstock, I end up filling it with the CA glue, thinking maybe it opened up just a slightly hair or whatever. And I did the same thing on this one as well. So I did both of them at the same time, but this one I already had cut. So it got in there. Now this is cut basically down to the uh, fretboard. I don't know if you saw that in the last video, but you can start seeing fretboard material inside there. So yeah, this is kind of weird. Um, I can't explain it unless somebody screwed up someplace in the factory and uh, put the wrong decal 
on the right guitar or this was supposed to be a something else and they messed up i don't know but it looks like there is a plastic top on here because i've been sanding and sanding and sanding and i'm just keep on going through different layers here and uh, as you can kind of tell where there's a layer there's a layer and here's a layer on top of here um yeah i haven't hit like plastic or anything but who knows so I'm going to take this down as much as I can as possible. I'm going to respray it black. Once I start seeing all the layers one color after going through it, I'm going to hit this with a black spray. Um, got a hold of Jeff over at Diamond Cook Graphics to see if he can get me a uh, or make me a new logo for here. And before I clear, because I'm going to sand this whole neck down and uh, get rid of some of the goofy spots on there. And I'm going to re-clear everything at one shot. Uh, the neck, the fretboard itself will be masked off before um, I put the frets in because they clear-coated the side of the fretboard and I need to match, match, match that. So the frets will be going in after I end up doing the clearing. So I'm going to have to be careful with the CA glue not to get any around the edges and stuff. So that'll be, that'll be a little bit of a trick. But I've done it before, so not a big deal. Anyways, uh, yeah, so a little interesting story with this. Hmm, go figure.